Hi folks! Like we said in the last video, we were home for about nine months, but now we're about to embark on yet another journey. We spent the nine months languishing around the palace homestead, doing chores and fixing whatever needed to be fixed, but now... We have achieved maximal level cabin fever and that feeling that we must get back out on the road. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> yep, and this new journey will take us to... Canada's East Coast on a journey we have dubbed... Ladies and gentlemen, Ladies and gentlemen. the Traveling Wild Barriers. Beach tour. Why did we call it the beach tour? Well, it just so happened that we ended up spending a lot of time at various beaches. Yay! <laughs> that entails river beaches, lake beaches, ocean beaches. There are also some red sand beaches as well. The first beach we ended up enjoying was the beautiful beachfront area at Rimmick Rapids near the nation's capital in Ottawa. We decided to precision ourselves there in the early part of the day in anticipation of the Canada Day fireworks later in the evening. It's not the best vantage point for the fireworks, but it's fine. It was a beautiful sunny day. We basically just lounged around watching the joggers and bikers zip past us on the bike path. It's always a treat to see the jets streaking across the sky on July 1st. <laughs> Gotta love the odd signs the city decided to use. This one surrounds a concrete building that is run by the city, which had some issues as a result of some recent flooding. I can honestly tell you that there are no dogs inside that fenced area. And this one? <laughs> Gotta wonder who makes the final decision on which graphic depictions are used at the, at the end of the day. We enjoyed a barbecue, then relaxed the rest of the afternoon, with a nap thrown in for good measure, just before enjoying the evening fireworks. After all the traffic uh, had left, we sauntered over to our overnight spot and went to sleep. In the morning, it was off to enjoy the next beach, which was about an hour and a half drive south, give or take. This beach here in Morrisburg on the shores of the St. Lawrence is great as it allows us to park the RV within its arm's reach and that allows us to go back and forth if we want to grab a snack or a drink or whatever. <music> We basically just sat around enjoying yet another beautiful day on yet another great beach. Indeed. After our barbecue, we went for a nice long walk around Morrisburg. During our travels, we couldn't help but notice and highlight the abundance of churches of various denominations we came across throughout many of the small towns we visited. It was around 9.30 when we got back to the RV, so we basically just packed it all in and called it an early night. We started out fairly early the next morning and basically just drove to this truck stop that we're familiar with on the other side of Montreal. Once there, we had a good sleep. When we woke up, we got back on the road and our next stop found us relaxing in a nice park on the banks of the Madawaska River in Edmondson, New Brunswick. nice long walk exploring the area.
we came across some outdoor summer entertainment. Driving to yet another beachfront spot just around the corner on the St. John River, I went for a swim and then after sitting around for a bit, we found an overnight spot and uh, called it a night. we traveled to River John where we stayed one night at the Sea Foam RV Park which is located on the Northumberland Strait. The ocean water there was a bit nippy and we also saw a few jellyfish but we enjoyed a nice long walk and then a relaxing uh, afternoon on the beach. Supper, Ken went over to the beachfront to fly the drone. Yeah, that was an exercise in sheer anguish and frustration. The bugs, uh, both what I believe to be some form of black flies and mosquitoes, were completely ferocious and attacked me from every angle. Of course, it didn't hurt that I was wearing shorts and had a short sleeve top on. I'm certainly surprised that I was able to hold out as long as I did. I did manage to get a bit of drone footage. got some pics of an amazing sunset and also managed to enjoy sitting by the fire for a while once the bugs decided that the cool evening air was too much for them. And after that it was time to pack it in. The next morning we set out on the next part of the journey which finds us arriving in. Oh uh, wait wait you know the deal. We have You'll have to come back to find out what our next stop is and that will be in the next exciting video. Ciao for now.